I requested Emma to submit some details and data to me because I wanted to have an informed decision, I would say, when I voted in favor or against the green certificate. And one of the questions that I asked Emma is to send me the all the trials, the tests, the clinical trials that all these medical companies had done, either in animals or in humans, before they requested the marketing authorization. So in the case of Pfizer, here's something interesting. When they submitted the information and the clinical trials to Pfizer, here's all the tests that they submitted along with their request. They submitted a clinical trial that started in January 14, 2020. I asked yesterday the representative of Pfizer and she declined to answer. How is it possible that we, the world, found out in December of 2019 that there is a COVID or coronavirus as it's called in China, December of 2019, on January the 11th, the Chinese government released the DNA data or a segment of it to the public. And three days later, Pfizer already started the tests for this vaccine. How is that possible? She did not answer. In the case of Moderna, and I've asked the CEO of Moderna two, three weeks ago when he was here. They submitted the trials since 2017. So I'm restating the question, how is it possible that when we found out in the fall of the summer, December, you know, winter of 2019 about this virus, they submitted tests of their vaccines years before we found out about the virus. And I'm still asking that question now, how is that possible? So these are the legit questions that we all asked and that people are asking us. And unfortunately, they are declining to answer.